What if the anesthesia fails during surgery? This is not a movie. There are too many examples in reality. Sudden awakening during surgery. The feeling of a blade slicing through the skin. No matter how much pain and wailing you do. In the end, it does not help. The main character, Xiao Chong, is the unlucky one. He was born as a super rich kid. He owns half a city's worth of property. He is not only wealthy, intelligent, but also exceptionally handsome. He is a legendary rising star in the financial world. This is his girlfriend, Sasha. Originally, she was just a little secretary of his mother. Then they fell in love at first sight. But due to the status gap, Xiao Chun has been afraid to let his mother know. This secret love makes Sasha very uncomfortable. But there is no way out. Xiao Chun's mother is a mean and strict woman. She only wants her son to find a daughter-in-law who is a good match. Caught in the middle of two women, not only put a lot of pressure on Xiao Chun, but also make him rebellious. This man is Xiao Chun's best friend. Jack, a surgeon in a hospital. The reason why the two became close friends, because Jack once saved his life. It is true that no one is perfect. Xiao Chong has a congenital heart disease. Generally speaking, his life expectancy is not too long. He needs to be supported by heart replacement surgery in the later stage. But because he can, he has to go to the hospital every day to check his health. This day that went fishing, Xiao Chong wanted to learn from Jack and asked him if he should tell about his girlfriend. Jack didn't even think about it and encouraged him to say, if you love her, you have to give her a home. You can't hide it like this. Xiao Chong also thought it was a good idea, even though he was sure it wouldn't end well. But when he got home, he told his mother. As expected, his proud mother was furious. This was the first time that her son had disobeyed her because of a small secretary. Then they had a big fight. In the end, they broke up, in spite of his mother's strong opposition. That night, in the presence of the priest, he and Sasha got married in a flash. As the saying goes, double happiness makes double happiness. Xiao Chong married his wife. He also got a match for the source of his heart. And when his mother found out the good news, she immediately arranged for the top doctor, Baldi. She wouldn't allow her son's surgery to go wrong. When Baldi found out that Xiao Chong wanted Jack to do it, he was kind enough to advise him. Jack has had several medical accidents. Don't play with your life. But Xiao Chong said he didn't care. After all, Jack had saved his life. He trusted his friend from the bottom of his heart. Maybe it was a bet with his family. Or maybe he wanted to prove himself too much. He decisively refused his mother's arrangement. He chose Jack for the surgery. He didn't listen to the old man's advice and suffered the consequences. Soon Xiao Chong was lying on the operating table. But the operation itself was very unreliable. The anesthesiologist actually drank while working. Although Xiao Chong was asleep. But his consciousness was clear. He could hear the doctor's conversations. At this time, he knew that he was done. He was trapped in a huge conspiracy. This anesthesiologist before the operation was still drinking. The patient was conscious. He was screaming like crazy on the operating table. The next second the doctor's hands up and blade fall. In the case of Xiao Chong was fully conscious. He was disabled and his heart was removed alive. Xiao Chong desperately tried to control his consciousness but he couldn't move his fingers at all. The operating room was so quiet that the pain was felt all over his body. Xiao Chong's struggle was only known to him to keep himself from suffering. He tried to remember the sweetness of his girlfriend. He kept telling himself to bear it and it would be over. In this way, Xiao Chong actually endured until the interval. The anesthesiologist saw that he was fine. So he went out. He was replaced by Dr. Jack. But when the anesthesiologist had just left, the atmosphere in the operating room was not right. All the doctors here, they had conspired to kill Xiao Chong. They had tampered with the donor heart and wanted to get Xiao Chong's heart after he died and made the appearance of medical malpractice. But these conversations, Xiao Chong could hear it all. He couldn't believe that Jack would hurt him. He couldn't wait any longer. He had to tear the tape off his eyes. He was going to pull the tubes out of his body. He had to get away. He had to get out. But it was all just a fantasy for Xiao Chong. He was still lying on the operating table, a big hole in his chest. It was only his soul that stood up. At this moment, Xiao Chong, who was completely desperate, but unexpectedly saw the figure of Sasha. She was guarding the door of the operating room. She saw the drunken anesthesiologist. Sasha felt something was wrong, so she sneaked into the operating room. Xiao Chong was very happy. He shouted Sasha's name. He wanted to tell her the true face of Jack, but what he never expected was, Sasha was actually in cahoots with Jack. She was also a surgeon here before. After several medical incidents, they all had a huge debt. That's why he came up with such a trick. First, Sasha lured Xiao Chong into the bait. Jack then convinced him to change the doctor. Finally, made the medical malpractice, Sasha would get an equal share of the property as his wife. And she came just to make sure it goes well. Originally, Jack also doesn't, almost couldn't do it. If not for Sasha's persuasion, Xiao Chong may still have a chance to live. Then, without hesitation, Sasha grabbed the needle. Liquid into the heart, she buried it into her boyfriend's body with her own hands. All the events of the past came back to Xiao Chong's eyes. He knew that he could not return to life. The anesthesia failed, but the heart transplant went on as usual. Xiao Chong's soul was still outside. His whole body trembled with pain. Sasha looked at the surgery indifferently. At this moment, Tears flowed from the corners of Xiao Chong's eyes. If the anesthesiologist had noticed the difference at that moment. In fact, 
Xiao Chong could still be saved. But the reality is so cruel. The heart with the injection was already in the chest cavity. He didn't want to struggle anymore. Xiao Chun so returned to his home. The lights in his world started to go out little by little. After a few hypocritical resuscitation efforts by Jack, he was officially declared dead. But Xiao Chun's mother didn't believe him. She met the anesthesiologist. The anesthesiologist asked for her consent to remove the breathing tube. Only then did Xiao Chun's mother learn that her son was not dead. At that moment, if she got a new heart immediately, she could save him. However, her son's blood type is very rare. If it was destroyed, there was no way to wait for a second one. Mother and son are linked. Xiao Chun's world was already dark, but then his mother suddenly appeared. She gave him a glimmer of light. It turned out that outside the operating room, mom had inadvertently found out Sasha's identity. So she saw through her plan, but by then the operation was almost over. She knew that her son would die on the operating table. So she arranged for body to come to the hospital. She calculated the time to take the medicine and kill herself. Body immediately performed the operation and gave his mother's heart to Xiao Chong. Such a heavy price was too much for Xiao Chong to accept. His body appeared to reject the phenomenon, and in the illusion, the grieving Xiao Chong lost the courage to live. His mother told him the truth about his father. It turned out that Xiao Chong's father was not a bright and shiny man. He was just a violent scumbag. He even tried to hurt the young Xiao Chong at one time. His mother tried to protect him and ended his father's life on Christmas Eve. In order to make sure that Xiao Chong did not have a childhood shadow, mom had to lie to him that father was a perfect man, so that Xiao Chong always felt like a loser. Now that the conversation was over, his mother kissed him goodbye. Xiao Chong was finally relieved and opened his eyes. On the other hand, Sasha and Jack were arrested. I didn't expect Sasha to be the most wicked woman. She wanted to blame Jack for everything, saying that she never participated in the operation. Why don't you think about it when no one could do anything about it? Sasha was the one who gave her boyfriend the injection. Her fingerprints were still on the syringe. At the end of the film, the whole gang was sent to jail and received the appropriate punishment.